Have you ever seen an artist who is so insanely talented and you're in such awe at their work that you run up to them with your inspired little eyes and ask, how do you draw so well? And all they answer is practice. At that moment, your dreams are crushed, your world is shattered, you fall into a bottomless pit as your idol and person who inspired you so much gives you the most absolute horrible advice known to mankind. Okay, it's not as dramatic. And no, it's not the worst advice known to mankind. The problem with that advice is it's lacking how to practice. By just saying practice and not explaining how, the artist is giving you no guidance. So today, I'm going to teach you how, at least I learned to practice, and draw new things. You can use these methods to draw anything, not just dragons. I'm literally writing a script for you, for you guys, so just so you know, this is how serious I'm taking this. <laughs> now before I start the video, I just want to share what program I use and the equipment. I have an iPad Air 4th generation with an Apple Pencil, and I am using Procreate. Procreate is the greatest drawing app I've ever had the pleasure of arting on. It's $10 once, not monthly subscription, which is what I adore about it, and you get the best quality art app known to mankind. No, I am not sponsored. I wish. This program is just that good, okay? However, if you are a beginner and not wanting to commit yet, IBS Paint and Sketchbook are fantastic free programs that I used when I started out. You can draw on your phone and iPad and you don't have to use an Apple Pencil. I used this in my first videos. That's why my line art was so squiggly, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> also, just a disclaimer, I am not a professional. I'm self-taught and my way of learning things is my own method of drawing. Being that I am self-taught, however, I'm assuming most of you want to teach yourselves as well. So from a self-taught person to a self-taught person, it may be easier to digest. But just know this is not like actual professional advice, but it is very helpful. So, you know, I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. Step one of learning to draw or just getting a feel for what you want to draw is looking at inspo and watching videos of people drawing. For instance, watching my videos. Granted, I don't know if I'm the best example because I still have a lot to learn, but my simplified style can be useful to learn for a beginner. Or you can watch Cypress's videos, or my favorite, Lavender Town. Watching other people draw already gets the image in your mind for the structure of how the creature and the person is that you want to draw. How the lines curve, exactly how the arms land at the hips, or the wings on the shoulder of a dragon. It just gets the image better in your mind. Step two. I stand by the opinion that tracing is okay. Wait, don't leave. Hear me out. When learning to draw something new, you need to get a feel and form muscle memory to that thing. So how I approach tracing is not just tracing. I break the drawing down into simple circles, squares, rectangles, then connect the joints around them. After that, I remove the picture I'm tracing from and then have a nice simplified drawing that is easier to reference off of. I then take that drawing and try my best to copy it, and it's much easier now that it has become simplified and there's not all the colored and textures, it's just the lines. I understand tracing is harder for people using a sketchbook. I myself started on a sketchbook and am haunted by the horrible things 12 year old me brought into this life. Reaction to that abomination coming soon. But for those using a sketchbook, hope is not lost. This is a bit more tedious, but you can get printing paper and place it over the photo that you are wanting to trace, and then trace and simplify it like I showed you. Now you can reference the simplified photo. If that is too hard, then no problem. Just use easier references. Step three, referencing art is the number one most helpful tip of learning how to draw I can give. Yes, it's generic advice, I am aware, but it's generic because it works. Be mindful of the art style you're referencing because certain styles can change the anatomy of the dragon or person or animal that you're trying to draw. If you're wanting to draw an accurate Wings of Fire dragon, my favorite references is from the books, the opening pages where it shows all the different types of dragons. I learned the features of the dragons and the general anatomy and nature from those pictures and then bent them to my style of art after becoming more comfortable to them. This can go for humans and animals as well, but it might be harder for humans and animals as the most accurate is a real human and animal and we all know realism is very hard, but hope is not lost. You could find your you could just find like references off of Pinterest of humans and animals that you think are easy and you can handle and then just adjust when you get comfortable to your art style. I reference lots of book covers, stuff I found on Pinterest, and anything I just felt inspired by. But do not overdo it with insanely complicated drawings to reference. You will only disappoint yourself. Start with the easier things first, and then move up when you think you're ready. 
Do not be hard on yourselves. Sweet pumpkins, we are all learning. We're not supposed to be perfect. That's the point of practice, to become better. This is just beginning advice that will hopefully get you better at drawing the things you are inspired by. This method has worked for me, and eventually you won't need it because you will have traced, trained your muscles to draw it. For example, I don't need to reference art to draw dragons anymore, but I it took a lot of practice tracing and copying to get there. Now I'm doing the same thing with humans. I cannot draw a human without aid, but eventually I will figure it out, and you will too. I hope this video helped. If it did, it would be great if you maybe left a like or subscribe to my channel for part two on shading and colors, perhaps. If you have questions, leave it in the comments, and thank you so much for watching, lovelies. Goodbye.